Hello, this is Kelly Benedetti, teacher of grades 11 and 12 global politics in the humanities department, here to share my favorite hack this school year, how to share a Google document and have it default to inviting the recipient to create a copy. So in global politics, we have guided notes and I do not uh, necessarily care to create this as a Google assignment in Schoology. I just want to share the document and have students have their own copies. So our guided notes accompany the instructional videos that really are now substituting for any direct instruction or live lecture that I would have done in the past. So all of my lecturettes from, you know, historically are now being replaced with instructional videos. And I want these guided notes for students to be able to follow along. You can see I have uh, a small image of the slide and then generally a micro task for them to do that I want them to be able to type in themselves as they navigate the guided notes. Here it is. So Schoology, of course, has the Google, I'm sorry, um, Google has the option to share your document here. So you'll want to click on that. And first thing, we want to go to the settings here. If you click on the settings, you want to unclick the option for editors can change permissions and share, but we want to leave this one selected here and then just arrow back. Second, you can see that the default in a Google Doc is generally restricted. We want to change that using the drop arrow here and select anyone with the link can view. And then we want to copy this link. Now, at the moment, our copied link is still view only. The magic is about to happen. So when you are creating your assignment in Schoology or even inserting it as a link anywhere in an email, etc., um, all here's what you would do. So we're going to select insert content and this is on Schoology in the assignment creation template. I selected link and we're going to paste it, but this next step is vital. It will not invite the recipients to make a copy unless you make this crucial change. After the forward slash here, you can see that it says edit and sharing. We want to get rid of that. So you're going to highlight it and you're going to type in the word copy. And now the link has copy after the forward slash instead of edit. And then my title is actually right here because I had done it in the past. So my title for this document is the guided notes for the international relations theory, classical realism content. And then it will look like this to the students. So on their end, when they're looking, at the posted assignment on Schoology, you can see that their classical realism studies here consist introductorily as their instructional video, which once they click it, it goes directly to their Edpuzzle instructional video that I had created, and it has the accompanying guided notes. Watch what happens here. When we click guided notes, it automatically invites them to make a copy. And now each student has their own guided notes and they will record their own notes and save these in their classical realism uh, theories of international relations folder that I have helped them set up. So that is how you share a Google Doc that defaults to the invitation to copy for your recipients. Thanks so much for watching.